जो मेरी सबसे पहली पुल रिक्वेस्ट थी दैट वॉज अ करेक्शन इन रेडमी फाइव वेलकम दोस्तों कैसे हैं आप लोग मैं हूं कौशल जी ये सर्विस प्रोग्राम है स्वागत है आप सभी का तो दोस्तों आज हमारी गेस्ट हैं निधि कुमारी जिन्होंने दो बार जी सॉक लगा रखा है वो मोजिला और सिस्टर जैसी ओपन सोर्स रिपोजिटरीज पे कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर रह चुकी हैं स्मार्ट इंडिया हैकेथॉन जीत चुकी हैं और फाइनलिस्ट भी रह चुकी हैं सिमेंस की मेक आई रियल की हैकेथॉन में और ऐसे बहुत सारा उनने यू you नो know, काम किया है ओपन सोर्स डोमेन में और डेवलपमेंट में तो सारा आज चिट्ठा जानते हैं ओपन सोर्स का बहुत सारी ज्ञान की बातें होने वाली है वीडियो एंड तक देखना बहुत मजा आने वाला है चलिए शुरू करते हैं सो गिव अस अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट यू निधि आई एम निधि आई एम करेंटली वर्किंग एज अ फ्रंट एंड इंजीनियर एंड आई हैव बीन अ टू टाइम जी सॉकर फर्स्ट टाइम इट वाज उषा हिदि एंड इन 2020 इट वाज रोमेरो द यूनिसेफ प्रोडक्ट सो एंड आई हैव बीन अ कंट्रीब्यूटर टू मेनी अदर ओपन सोर्स सोर्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस एज़ वेल So that's pretty much about it. So Nidhi, how your open source journey kick started? Like, is it because of your college culture, or is it because of your friends, or is it like something other, you know, that motivated you for this? Twenty eighteen me, smart India hackathon tha, and I got selected for that. Eventually, kuch hata nahi tha, and I got an internship after that. Maybe because I was a hackathon winner with my team, so we got an I got an internship there in Triple IT. वहाँ पे हर जब आप आउट रिची एंड ऑलरेडी इन माई कॉलेज दे वर लाइक अराउंड इलेवन पीपल हु हैड पार्टिसिपेटेड इन जी सॉक डेट सो दैट वाज प्रीटी ग्रेट अपने को तो कुछ आता ही नहीं है अभी भी आई कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू हैक टेबल फेस एंड सम एंड आफ्टर दैट आई कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू सिस्टर्स अनिता बॉल्क एंड द मेंटल्स दे वर सो गुड दैट आई फील लाइक वाओ बस ये तो बहुत अच्छे से समझाते हैं सो लेट्स do this more so that's how i jumped into open source so let's talk about some opportunities so what are the different opportunities do we have in this open source domain nidhi specifically what i would say students get a mentor that's really really nice each organization has people who have very much experience and they treat you like their own child something <laughs> <laughs> they get to interact with the industry professionals. They get yeah. to, they even if they make mistakes, there is someone mm-hmm. who can guide them before they went to some big uh, tech firm to work in that. Uh, then let's speak about this outreachy, outreachy yeah. internships. Mm-hmm. So outreachy is a very very nice internship, and the interns get so outreachy happens twice. One time summers me hota hai and one time winters me. तो सम इंडिया में अभी विंटर्स में बंद कर दिया है इंडिया में दे ओनली सेलेक्ट फ्रॉम समर्स बी बिकॉज मोस्टली स्टूडेंट्स आर फ्रॉम इंडिया सो दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी इज वेरी इज काइंड ऑफ विमेन सेंट्रिक बिकॉज दे वांट टू इंडल्ज मोर डाइवर्सिटी एंड ओपन सोर्स सो दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी इज फॉर वुमेन और ट्रांस पीपल और दोज हु बिलोंग टू एलजीबीटी की कम्युनिटी सो उनके लिए होता है वेयर दे गेट टू पार्टिसिपेट इन open source they get an internship for 3 months and with some very very cool companies or organizations you must say like get get also comes an outreach so yes and they are paid a better sum than outreach a uh, better sum than sorry gsoc so that might be one of the inspirations for them as well and they get a full like they get a sum for travel so that's a really cool thing So Nidhi, when did you started working for the opportunities in open source, and uh, what resources did you used for that? With HTML, yes, yes. Okay. सबसे easy चीज थी दोस्तों ने बोला सीख लो start हो जाएगा because हाँ के तो हमें चाहिए था तो they said कि ठीक है सीखो HTML, yes, yes. I learned that. Internship हुए internship IOT की थी IOT कुछ कुछ आता था क्योंकि Triple E का background था कभी अच्छा तो लगा नहीं IOT अच्छा लगा but <laughs> बहुत अच्छा नहीं लगा. तो वहाँ पे दे आस्ट मी की चलो बैक एंड बनाते हैं ओके बैक एंड बनाते हैं सो दे आस्ट मी टू लर्न जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड नोट जे एस आई मेड द सर्विस सम हाउ एंड बट स्टार्टिंग में जो चीज थी एच टी एम एल सी एस एस द फ्रंट एंड दैट वॉज इन द्लर्स अब तो जावा स्क्रिप्ट भी आती थी सो आई स्टार्टेड लर्निंग फ्रंट एंड एंड आई द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई लर्न वॉज रियक्ट रियक्ट टू मी इज अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल लाइब्रेरी मोस्टली विद इट and about 
Jigsaw before preparing for Jigsaw. I learned React as well. Like the only thing I wanted ki mere project React specific ho. So I started for preparing like going for open source targeting specifically Jigsaw in January 2019. And January 2019 mein what I did, I checked previous year ke sari organizations dekhi, sari list check kari ki kaun se organization React specific project line. And I started with sisters, Anita Borg. But eventually, in February, when the list came, I didn't have to select any of them. Now what? Brother, you have confidence. Now there was no option. So, I contributed to Mozilla after that. And I just wanted to be in a proper full flow. Now I have to go. Because how do you contribute to open source? I knew that. I knew that how to learn the code. Because I was working in the first place in sisters. So, after that, we have a proper full force. Ushahidi ke liye, Ushahidi dial ke anjar aayi us saal and jo meri sab se pehli pull request thi that was a correction in Redmi 5 so you can understand how smart I was back then but I knew the con aur unka code base mera project thi yehi tha ki unke angular ke code base ko react pe leke jana tha Mozilla documentation, it's the best documentation react docs and for react I would also say there is this youtube channel called code evolution they, the person Vishwas, he has like made very nice videos. So if someone wants to go for React, it's a must watch. So Niti, this question is very important to students. How did we apply for this GSOC and outreach stuff? And what actually happens in this internship? For GSOC, I would say it's good if you communicate, if you contribute to the organization beforehand, that is like before going for GSOC internship. So, for example, in my case, I was contributing in February, since February or January. So that, that's it. Like you contribute in the organization beforehand and then you make a proposal. Proposal is that you have a proper documentation of what you want to do in the project, how you want to do that and what technologies are you going to use. These kind of things you have to answer in your proposal and these kind of things you have to add in your proposal. And then you finally submit it before the last submission day. And then after one month, the result will be out. So this is about GSOC. One short tip that I want to add is that make sure you contribute to your organization beforehand and that your mentor knows you. This is actually one of the guidelines as well in GSOC that uh, select those students who have, whom you know because you can't select those who have never interacted. So that's about GSOC. For outreach, uh, outreach is like when I was thinking to go for it. So uh, back then it was that you have to be, you have to make contributions. That's the first case thing in outreach. Like um, you can't be selected if you haven't contributed to that. And after that, there will be a form open for you in your sub channel where you want to contribute to. And you have to answer several questions and then you have to submit it. After that, the results will be out after one month. Yeah, both goes same way. So Nidhi, not all the internships and open source contribution are paid. So what, what students should choose, uh, paid or unpaid? So let me be very honest with you. I know unpaid internships do not sound very well, but if you are in your first year, who will hire someone who does not know a thing, right? So if you want to go for experience that for the next years, you make a lot of money or you're making money in your internship. So I would say then, Try with the unpaid internships. So open source to pura unpaid hota hai until unless you are going for GSOC ya outreach. So I would say like unpaid internships are worth the while if you are getting a good chance to learn. But I won't ever suggest ki kabi bhi koi bada project lelo for sake of free. Never, never do that. That does not make any sense to me as well. So Nidhi, what are the requirements for us? What are the prerequisites for us for the open source contribution or for the internship to participate in the internship? And are data structures and competitive programming necessary if we want to participate in GSOC? Data structures and algorithms are the crux of any language. So not very much. Like in front-end, I would say there is no specific requirement for front-end. Say if you want to split a line, how will you do that if you don't know data structures, if you don't know the split method? So data structures is uh, required, but not very much for open source. I would say that they need some, you need some proficiency in like, not proficiency exactly, I would say. You need a comfort level 
in either web development or machine learning and then tum us cheez ko lo jo tumhe bahut pasand hai like mujhe front end bahut acha lagta tha so i learned front end i had a very basic knowledge of javascript ke data structures bahut basic but i knew ki java data structures important hai. and then i went full force with it so yes and now speaking if data structures and algorithms are important very much बस तुमको कोई जॉब नहीं देगा अगर तुम्हें डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स नहीं आता है तो निधि क्या टिप्स होंगी उन स्टूडेंट्स के लिए जिन्होंने अपना करियर स्टार्ट किया है ओपन सोर्स में या शुरू करने वाले हैं ओपन सोर्स में और क्योंकि क्या मोटिवेशन नहीं मिल पाता है बिकॉज यू नो मोस्ट ऑफ द यू नो जनता कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग या फिर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर में लगी हुई है काम करने के लिए तो कैसे मोटिवेशन लाएँ और टिप्स क्या होंगी उन स्टूडेंट्स के लिए first biggest motivation is money second biggest motivation is fame it'll be you'll become famous come on and companies will approach you that again a good thing you won't have to go for anyone ki mujhe referral de do that might happen but companies will approach you if you have a very good list of projects because college projects jo hote hain mostly there's are academic specific but jab tum open source mein kaam karte ho to tumhe companies ko pata hota hai ki ye काम करके आया है दूसरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में सो ही नोज अबाउट द थिंग दैट हाउ थिंग्स वर्क इन अ कम्युनिटी हाउ थिंग्स वर्क इन अ कंपनी सो दैट्स अ बिग मोटिवेशन फॉर मी तीसरी चीज यू वांट बी फेसिंग लाइक दीज काइंड्स ऑफ थिंग लाइक व्हाट दे से ऑफिस पॉलिटिक्स ऑल्दो आई हैव नेवर फेस्ड दैट इन एनी ऑफ माय कंपनीज बिफोर बट आई वुड से कि लाइक दिस दिस दीज थिंग्स नॉट हैपन द मेंटर्स ट्रीट यू रियली रियली नाइस वे एंड यू गेट अ फ्रेम इन योर मेंटर So finally, Nidhi, how was your experience in the GSOC internship, and what were your key takeaways from that? My journey was amazing both the times. I worked with Dian, but in the two years, the organizations were different. So in 2019, I worked with Usha Hibi, and in 2020, I worked with UNICEF Primero project. So speaking in 2019. 2019 was a year for change for me. I got three amazing friends. Like my mentors still guide me. I am still in touch with them. I got selected for talks somewhere. They helped me to write proposal for international talks. I got many job offers. So these things were good, and they helped me with the interviews. They helped me at every point of the time whenever I get stuck. and even if there was the time difference between us like for say one of my mentors lived in south america and i was in india but fir bhi we used to communicate on a very subtle way bahut easily communication tha sab kuch bahut acha tha mere liye khatam bye bye tata good bye to yaar naye ho to subscribe zarur kar dena like karo video ko support karo bhai ko aisa hi behtareen content aane wala hai milte hain agle video mein bye